Hi guys, welcome to another Chama Valley Maths tutorial. Uh, Mr. Gordon here. I'm working through the functions uh, part of the new GCSE and I just wanted to go through some extra bits about functions. So I want to look at when you have to form and solve an equation using functions. So in a previous video we were looking at uh, putting numbers into the function. So we've got our function here which is 2x plus 1. So the function is 2x plus 1 and normally on the previous section we were just putting in numbers where we saw an x but this time the notation is slightly different here because if you look at part a it's saying f of x equals 5 so it's saying the function equals 5 so what we have to do it doesn't mean put 5 into the function because there would be a 5 in the bracket instead of the x if that's what we had to do it's saying set the function equal to 5 now the function is up here, isn't it? It's 2x plus 1. So we need that because that's what f of x is. Let's grab the function. So here comes the 2x plus 1. That's on the left-hand side. That's taking place of the f of x because remember f of x equals 2x plus 1. So it's the same thing. And we're going to set that equal to 5. So let's grab an equal sign and set our function equal to 5. Alright, so now you can see we've got quite a simple equation that we have to solve and that will work out what x value goes into our function to get 5. So let's solve it. Now I don't know, there's plenty of methods to solve functions um, and the way I use is I like to do the same thing to both sides. So remember the aim of the game is to get x on its own to try and work it out and I'm, I want to get rid of this plus 1. So to get rid of a plus 1 I do the inverse, I do the opposite which is take away 1. If I do it to one side of the equation, I've also got to do it to the other side. So I'm going to take away 1 from both sides, and that will give me 2x equals 4. So the plus 1 has been cancelled out by, my, by taking away 1, and I've also taken away 1 from this side to get 4. So now you can probably see what the answer is, because you've got 2 times something equals 4. But to follow the method through, I want to get x on its own. So if I was trying to get rid of a times by 2, I would divide by 2 and if I divide by 2 to the left hand side I've got to divide the right hand side by 2 as well. So dividing both sides by 2 means that x would equal 2. 2x divided by 2 is x and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So that tells me what value for x we would put into our function to get 5. Let's just double check it. So the x value apparently is going to be 2. So put 2 in place of x. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 Yes, that does equal 5. So we know that that answer is correct. Um, pause the video and have a go at part B and see if you can get the answer for this question down here. So when, when the function is equal to 23, what is the value of x essentially? So pause the video and have a go. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at that. I'm going to go through the solution very quickly. So again, we need our function because that's what the, uh, the 2x plus 1 is our function, so that takes the left-hand side. Set it equal to whatever it says in the question, which is going to set it equal to 23. So let's pop it up here. So the function is now equal to 23. And again, follow the method for solving the equation. Take away 1 from both sides. That leaves me with 2x equals 22. And then divide both sides by 2. And you should have got x equals 11. Alright, so that's what you need to do when you see questions like this, when the function is equal to a value. I hope that's helpful.